Hi, Gemini. Welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for May. I hope everybody's doing well. I am going to take a second to remind you that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with every Gemini out there. So guys, um, take what resonates for you. Leave the rest for someone else. And you can also check your other signs and placements and see if those readings resonate better. Keep in mind the energies can reverse or flip-flop. And as always, Gemini, please don't try to force yourself into a reading that's just not for you. Spirit, can I have the energy of the sign of Gemini? Gemini. Gemini. All right, Gemini, you are starting out with the three of wands in the reverse. You have the two of pentacles reversed. And you have the knight of swords. So, I feel like um, you've kind of gone back and forth, weighing up the pros and cons of, of speaking your truth to somebody here. And this truth has to do with either not waiting any longer or um, maybe even feeling like you just don't belong with that person. Um, I feel like you may have been waiting for things to kind of materialize between you and that person, but you're kind of like, mm -mm, not anymore. Now, it's causing some imbalance in your life, um, but I do feel like you are going to be speaking to this person. You're going to be speaking your truth here, and it might be quite impulsively when you do so. Be careful, too, because I do feel like, um, you know, with the Knight of Swords, that can be a very um, sharp, very, um, like, um, a little bit not tactful <laughs> It's the best way I can put it. So, you know, make sure that you're not speaking out of turn when you do speak with that person. But I do feel like you're going to, you're, you've made a decision to speak your truth to somebody. Um, let's see. And I feel like you're not happy with this person. So let's see who's in your energy. Be careful too, because, um, there could be, you may be having to juggle your money. There could have been some kind of, um, financial issue where you, you've been having to juggle your money. If so, it looks like that is coming to an end. Show me who is in Gemini's energy. Oh my. We're not taking all of that. That's a little excessive. Show me who's in Gemini's energy. Somebody's not really, um, I feel like somebody who either has a blockage is in your energy or there's a reluctance to share their energy. Yeah, it's not, it's not coming easy. They're either blocked or there's a reluctance. All right, so we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Page of Cups and the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Interesting. So this is somebody that you've had an ending with um, or they've had an ending in their life. Now, there's an indication that there's new love here. This person is moving towards new love. I am seeing that with the Queen of Cups in the reverse, they're kind of holding back. So this is somebody, Gemini, that's not offering, you know, emotions. They're not offering commitment. They're moving towards something that is new. I I do feel that they have emotions for you, but they're not they're not offering those emotions. Let's see. Um, let's see the energy between the two of you. This could be somebody who is a little bit immature as well. Show me the energy between these two. King of Swords. So there's a, a truthful conversation that has either happened or is going to happen here. There's a lot of uh, air sign energy. Um... You could be dealing with another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, could also be an earth sign or a or a water sign. There's really everything but fire is here. The page of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah. 
So I do feel like the energy between the two of you is that some sort of truth has been revealed. There's a truthful conversation that has either been had or is going to be had. And I do feel like there's a sense here of an offer being refused. Um, an offer being refused or, you know, moving into no contact or no, no, um, no um, communication. So let's see. This could be somebody that... Um, like I said, they could be a little bit immature, but I feel like this is someone that's moving in another direction. And it's leaving you feeling a little bit unbalanced in your energy here. Show me the outcome for Gemini. The Emperor. Wow. Could be dealing with an Aries. Um... Yeah, so I see you taking charge of the situation. There's a leveling up that's happening here. So, yeah, I see that there. you're going to take charge of this situation through communication. I do feel like this person, though, might be um, not really giving their emotions when you do this. Now, at the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Cups in the reverse, so this is a somebody from your past that you have had a an emotional connection with, a very strong emotional connection, and it's ended. So let's clarify. Why is the three of wands in reverse? Thank you, Spirit. Why is the three of wands in reverse for Gemini? Why is the three of wands in reverse for Gemini? You may have, there may be no communication with you and this person, and you're becoming increasingly impatient to talk to them as well. All right, we have the strength card. We have the eight of coins reversed, and we have, yeah, and the ace of swords reversed. So, you have strong feelings, Gemini, for this person, but I feel like you haven't really communicated or they haven't communicated with you. I do feel like you're impatient to talk to this person. This is a connection that you feel very strongly with them, but there was something that just didn't work out. I do feel like you lack clarity as to what the truth is of this situation with this person. Um, and you feel like that's why things aren't working out. It's a lack of communication, a lack of clarity. Um, but you definitely have strong feelings. And I feel like you are it's growing. This impatience to communicate is growing. The Fool and the Ace of Wands reversed. Mm. So you want a new beginning with this person. I do feel like you've, you've decided you want a new beginning. Now, some of you, this could be a new beginning elsewhere um, after deciding that this is done and over, but there's some sort of new beginning that's coming into your life with this fool. It's a, it's a brand new start. It's a, it's a clean slate here. Um, and it could be because you, you wanted to get back with this person, but they may have turned down your offer. Some of you, you want a new beginning with this person. Why is this Knight of Swords here? What is it that Gemini wants to say? What is it that Gemini wants to say here? Yeah, you want a reconciliation. Five of Pentacles reversed. You've been feeling neglected by this person, abandoned, um, rejected and abandoned. Yeah, um, and it's because of this page of pentacles in the reverse. I feel like you offered a reconciliation or you tried to talk with this person and they just weren't having any of it. But I do feel like you're coming back in to get the clarity that you want in this this uh, situation. Let's look at their energy. Why is the knight of pentacles in reverse? Why is the knight of pentacles? Yeah, this person is not offering any kind of commitment, but they may not be very clear about that. This is somebody who is, you know, definitely wanting their their independence. They're very single. Um, I feel like they were unhappy about this ending between the two of you, 
but they're, they're definitely not offering commitment. They are in this very single independent energy. I feel like they might be enjoying their, their independence, enjoying being single. Why is the Page of Cups here? Why is the Page of Cups here? Show me the Page of Cups. Oh. Uh-oh. You know, I had this happen in an Aries reading one time. It's not the norm for a card to go flying into the flames. Wow. So there's strong energy here. That's, uh... And it was the Ten of Swords. Yeah. So, <laughs> very strong energy. This person um, felt a lot of pain in this, this uh, ending between the two of you. So they could be actually fearful of going back into a connection. This person um, feels like you betrayed them. They're, they're looking at the past. They have some regrets for the past, but they feel betrayed in the connection. So while they do have some feelings still here for you, I do feel like they're moving towards a new connection. And it's because the pain of the ending between the two of you was so strong. Um, why is the Queen of Cups in reverse? They, they're feeling that it's better for them to move into something new because of the way things went between the two of you, especially the way things ended. Queen of Wands reversed and the Knight of Wands. Yeah, they're holding back. They they will communicate with you um, if you choose to come forward and communicate. And I do think that there's been a lack of communication, but they're not going to be the one to initiate it. And even when they do, it's going to be spotty. Like they may communicate or they may ignore. Um, sometimes this is a text. You could have sent a text to this person and this person ignored it. But I do feel like they will communicate with you at times. It's just in and out. There's no consistency in the communication. And this is somebody that um, I do feel like there was a very passionate connection here. There was a lot of love, but I'm, I'm seeing that this person feels betrayed. They feel betrayed. Now, there could have been, um, you may have moved towards a new beginning elsewhere, or there could have been infidelity in the connection. But this person is definitely feeling that they were betrayed and they're moving towards a new connection. I do see they will speak to you on occasion, but they're, they're not going to be consistent. There's an energy of not wanting to invest, not wanting to do, you know, take the action. So, yeah, they may also be viewing you as being a player. So... They're going to be holding back emotionally. They're not, um, it's not like they're wanting to come forward. So let me see the energy between the two of you. Yeah, you've both been up in your heads. You've both been confused. There's been a lot of confusion here. There's a sense of feeling trapped in that confusion, um, not really being able to get the clarity. I do feel like there is going to be or has been a, a discussion between the two of you. All right, so we have the Empress in reverse, and we have the Two of Cups as well. Wow. So... You both have options. You both have options in love. It's just that, Gemini, I feel like you feel that the options that you have are not really going to lead to anything. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, I am seeing Taurus or Libra energy as well. Um, this person does think about you. but And in fact, they, they actually think about you quite a bit. However... I do feel that this is somebody who, after this ending, it was an extremely painful ending for this person. I feel like they they may have met somebody. There's a sense here 
of having met someone, moving in a, in a direction, another direction towards someone else. We have both the emperor and the empress in the energy. So I can see that you feel that this is a um, divine connection. And I have to be honest, I, I feel like you would be showing up as a divine masculine. And you feel that this person is not providing any clarity, that, that they're very confusing about what it is that they want. Um, why is the Page of Pentacles in the reverse? Yeah, you reached out to this person. It may have been some very small way, hoping to have a reconciliation or, you know, a new start with this person. And I feel like they, they may have ignored you or they may have, you know, not responded to the, yeah. Yeah, they didn't respond is the way it looks. Page of Wands. Page of Wands, yeah. So this person, um, they waited for you for a long time. So there's a sense here that this person waited for a long time for, to hear from you. They didn't hear from you. They were very sad. They went through some depression. They felt very betrayed. But they have met somebody else that they're moving in that direction. Um, and that's why, that, that's why this person didn't respond when you reached out. So let's see the emperor, though. Because I can see that you're upgrading your energy here, Gemini. You're taking control of the situation, whether it's just for you or whether it's for, you know, the connection itself. There's a sense of you taking control of this. And I feel like you have some things that you want to say. Oh, look at that. The emperor in the upright. The queen of cups. And the Knight of Swords reversed. Oh my goodness. So you want to talk to this person, but you're afraid that they're not going to respond to you again. Um, water sign energy is very strong. That would be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. There's definitely love in this connection, but this person is holding back their emotions. There's a sense here that this person um, is recognizing that you're moving your energy up into a higher level with the emperor here. Yeah, they're recognizing you here as the emperor. Huh. But I feel like you're, you want to talk to this person, but you, you don't. And it's because of fear. It's because you're afraid that this person's not going to not gonna respond back to you. I feel like you reached out in a very small manner and they didn't respond. And they didn't respond, Gemini, because they waited so long to hear from you. When they didn't hear from you, it looks as if they may have met someone else. Someone else has caught their interest. And based upon the painful way that this connection ended, I feel like um, they went through some depression. They went, you know, they were looking at the past. And now they're like, um, no, I, I just want to be happy. I want to move forward. So I do feel that this person, though, is recognizing that your energy is increasing. You're taking charge, taking control. The thing is, is that they may have seen you in the past as a player and they have kind of taken control of their own life. So they're not wanting to take action towards you. I do think that there's going to be some communication um, if you reach out, but it doesn't look like you're wanting to reach out. Oh, well, let me rephrase that. It doesn't look like you actually do reach out. You want to reach out, but the there's this burn from the past where, you know, you reached out, you tried to start something with this person and they, they denied you. And so now you're like, yeah, I want to reach out, but no, I'm not going to. Meanwhile, you both are, <laughs> you both have these feelings here, but you're keeping a lid on them. You're keeping a lid on them. So Bottom of the deck is the moon in reverse, sign of cancer. Um, and 
what this is indicating as an underlying energy is that things that are hidden right now will come to light. So what's going to come to light is everything that you're confused about, everything that you are wondering, you're going to find out. You're going to find out through one form or another. It also tells me that there's some realizations that you've had, Gemini, with regard to why this connection ended. So it, it's an unveiling of things that have been hidden. Interesting. Um, I'm going to pull from the hidden truths. Let me just do a quick shuffle on these. All right. Let's see what the hidden truth is. Let's see what's going to be revealed. Pulling for Gemini. What is the hidden truth? What's going to be revealed? And I don't know how it's going to be revealed, but there's something that is going to be revealed to you. And it may have to do with this, what this person is not able to say, or it may have to do with why this ended. Yeah, I hide behind material things. Let's pull again for Gemini. I left you before you could leave me. And I wonder if you are happy without me. So this is what's being revealed. Somebody hides behind material things. Um, I, I almost feel like this person, I feel like this should go like this. Because this person felt very betrayed. And I feel like maybe you, you left this person before they could leave you. And there may be some regrets there. It could be opposite, of course. Um, but I'm also seeing that the person in your energy wonders if you're happy without them. So, yeah. All right, well, I do hope that this has been helpful and given you a little bit of insight into this situation. Um, for what it's worth, if you have something that you need to say, um, I would say it. I would say it. I would just take charge of the situation. I would let this person know. I do feel like, um, there's a fear here of communicating how you really feel, but you never know what's going to happen, Gemini, until you actually do. All right? So, in any event, I do hope that this, um, and I know it's not just that simple either. I do hope this has been helpful. If you've resonated with this reading, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Until I see you in your next reading, namaste.